Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. And spoiler alert, if you're not caught up to season 10 through the mid-season finale, this is a mid-season finale kind of a review of the episode. So spoiler alert if you're not caught up. And just to say, this review may be out a little early, so definitely if you've not seen it yet, if it's not come on in your time zone or something yet, or maybe just have a few days before you can watch it, but the reviews may start coming out a little earlier. If every episode in the future of The Walking Dead does come out a couple of days early, the review may go up earlier on Sunday. So a bunch of people will have already seen the episode and can go ahead and watch the review. And the others, uh, the rest of you guys, you may just have to wait a few hours until the show comes on so you can watch it and then come watch my video. I hope you do. I hope it plays out okay that way. It's just the weird way that they present the show to us. Some of us sees it early and some of us uh, sees it later. But we did know a bunch about the episode anyway because uh, Sadiq, was, did he die, you know, at the end of the last episode? But then they showed us the trailer and the funeral was in that, so we knew he did die. We found out Dante is a whisperer. He's been in there since before the fire. And we did get the opening minutes even, and we also knew the stuff that Dante did. He did the handle. He killed the old lady. He was just a part of so much of that. But we had seen those opening minutes and learned about all of that, how Alpha said, you haven't been with us long, but go into the community and do all these things, help us out. We'll communicate back and forth. You're our spy. You're our, like, terrorist. Dante's the one that started the silence, the whispers stuff, painting on everything. So just a huge propaganda thing that Alpha stuck into Alexandria through Dante. And the big question of why didn't Lydia recognize Dante is because she was taken away from the Whispers uh, before Dante came around, thus why she didn't recognize him. And the Whisper prisoner might not have recognized him either. You know, Alpha does have a way sometimes of having two or three operations in her army, per se. She's the general, and she's sending out different soldiers doing different tasks, even spies. And the rest of the army, the rest of even some of the higher-ups may not know about that. So even the guy that was over the horde may not have known about Dante either. But we do get the Gamma and Aaron scene, and they also released this scene as well. So we knew it and figured that um, when Daryl was saying we're going to trust a whisper now, um, I was correct when I guessed that it was Gamma and what she said, I have information for you, and it ended up being the location of the herd. And it was a false information thing. It was a trap. They even said it was, but they went in anyway. And, you know, things didn't turn out so well, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's bounce over to Oceanside. Michonne, Judith, and the rest are heading to Oceanside. You can see right here Judith writing in a book. It ends up, we find out, that's her book of stories of everything that's going on. She's kind of keeping a diary, a journal, uh, writing a book, per se, of all their travels and adventures for the future generations to read. And one thing about the library, there was a whole bunch of WTFs, I think, in this episode and several episodes through the past in this season. But anyway, a lot of WTFs, I should be doing that like top 10 WTFs like a lot of channels do. This library, for an example, it seemed like it was just along the road to Oceanside, like they've passed it a bunch of times before, or at least a road that you turn on goes to that town. They've never explored that, tried to get supplies. They've never went into that library. A lot of things like that seem a little odd to me and make me do the WTF thing. But it was in that library that they met Virgil or saw Virgil. And earlier when they uh, stopped in the road and said someone crossed the road, don't think it was a walker. There, it was somebody, you know, that somebody could have been Virgil, um, I was thinking. But it's in the library that Michonne learns about Sadiq's death and stuff like that. And she's pretty mad and tells Luke at this point. But also, you know, if I'm, they were talking about Lydia over the radio and all that kind of stuff. I guess the Whispers just don't use radios. They don't use technology and stuff. So isn't that a huge advantage to... Uh, Michonne and all of her people to be able to use radios and know the whispers uh, probably aren't listening. And we do see Father Gabriel watching a video back. You know, this is just like Deanna used to do at Alexandria. She filmed Rick, videoed Rick uh, and all the rest telling their stories. And I was saying, I think in the last video, that they should still have that around, even of Rick, that 
uh, Judith and RJ could watch so they remember what he looks like and remembers him a little bit. And we get a good little scene with Aaron and Gracie. So Gracie, that may be the first actual full conversation that we've seen. She's she's yelled dad and uh, said a couple of things, I think, in a few episodes before. But we definitely have a good conversation with Gracie and get to meet her kind of for the first time, really. And Gracie is a little younger than Judith, but Gracie could grow up to be a little fighter as well. And Coco, uh, she's just a baby right now, but, you know... Uh, With a mom like Rosita, Coco could definitely grow up to be a real badass as well. But they do meet Virgil. Virgil shows up at Oceanside. He's trying to get a boat because he lives on an island uh, that has a fort on it and supposedly weapons. So that's the whole twist there. They find out Virgil um, is looking for his family. He went out for supplies. He's just trying to get back to his family. That's on an island which has a fort and weapons. And that's the reason Michonne leaves. She's trying to go get the weapons. And the big question is, does she come back? Does something happen that keeps Michonne away? Something that uh, makes it where she can't return. Is that her exit? I don't think so. I think we will see her in the back half of season 10. But Father Gabriel does end up, you know, um, the the whole edge, I think, not just Father Gabriel was Sadiq's friend and, and he lost that and the baby lost the father and all this kind of stuff. And Father Gabriel was just really, really ticked off and wanted to kill Dante. At the same time, he didn't want a trial to happen. He didn't want the normal rules to apply to Dante. He's like, screw the council, screw the normal way of doing things. This guy not only has to die brutally by my hands, I'm going to burn the body yeah, Dante, he is just dust. And we do have a, some moments between Daryl and Carol and the one in the woods. Um, Carol's kind of crying and stuff. Maybe maybe they kind of got to each other as far as, hey, we're on each other's side and, and, and just, just, just stay with me here. Daryl's trying to tell Carol. And so that, that's a pretty good moment right there. And it bounces right to a pretty good moment with Gabriel and Rosita while they're turning Dante into some ashes. So Michonne, she does, she is on the walkie-talkie telling Judith, hey, I'm just a call away. And, you know, yeah, it makes you wonder what the range is on those things because she said it's a two-day journey by boat to the island. Or maybe that's one day out there, one day back uh, is what she meant because she did say she would be a couple days behind them. So that makes more sense that it's one day out there, one day back. So... Even one day traveling by boat, that's a pretty good distance away to use a walkie-talkie, but hey, you know, whatever. So we finally do, though, at the end, see that it is a trap by Alpha for whoever comes to see about the field. And that makes you kind of wonder then about Gamma. She knows she was using Gamma. So it makes me wonder if Gamma knows that the field was empty. Or does Gamma think... That's where Alpha said the herd was, so I'm going to use that information to try to see the baby. Or does she know uh, uh, Alpha's plan? Is she in on it all? If she's not, then Alpha knows that Gamma can't be trusted or whatever, and does Alpha kill Gamma? Does Gamma try to kill Alpha like her sister ended up doing? Does Gamma actually turn over to the good side and become a good guy? Gamma could live. But then we get to the biggest WTF in the episode, I think, is not just Carol. Carol, I could understand. She's she's a little crazy at the moment and definitely wanting to kill some alpha, right? But the rest of them, they run into this little dark hole, this cave. They just run right in. And then Daryl, he goes in like, (laughs) what the heck? They had been training for militia and all that kind of stuff, and then they just wholeheartedly all run into a cave. That's just not sensible at all for any of them, even knowing it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. They knew the herd wasn't there. It's a trap. Alva appears and just runs through the woods and runs into this cave, and they're just going to go in after her like that with no thinking about it or a couple people standing outside. Uh, the for lookout or I don't know it just seems weird that they just ran right in and got themselves into trouble 
here they are in a cave, and it looks like that may be where Alpha is hiding the herd, maybe the entire herd, but at least a big portion of it, and our good guys are trapped. Dum 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 mid season finale. We gotta wait a couple months before we learn what happens. It was a pretty good episode. I liked it. I liked the entire first half of season ten. I thought it was good. Yeah, there's a lot of WTFs and things that doesn't make good sense. The plumbing, the satellite, I mean, just logic is on the shelf and we just gotta go with it. I think they set up a whole bunch of stuff coming in. Um, as far as that goes, coming in from the midseason, the Negan thing is still happening. Our heroes are trapped in a cave full of zombies. Um, there's rumor that there could be more spies around, like at Hilltop and Oceanside. And the one at Oceanside could be somebody that we don't want it to be. Luke just found some love. Could his girlfriend be a whisperer spy? Dun, dun, dun. Tune in next year. But Michonne's going to an island to get guns um big guns maybe what what's happening here and how many weapons and what's going on and what kind of army base and uh who is this group it's fortified there's an island there's just a whole bunch of things that uh kind of raises question there so at the moment it wasn't uh the rick thing you know i thought when they found virgil and he was about to say you know where he's from and everything i really thought uh, a lot of the things that you guys and a lot of theories that were out there saying that he tells Michonne about Rick, I was ready for that. I denied it. I'm like, I don't think that's going to happen. But I almost thought he was going to say, I just escaped from this place up like around Philly. And um, we were all in cages. They were experimenting on us. And if it wasn't for this guy, Rick Grimes, uh, starting a revolt, I would have never been able to escape. Some of us got out. I don't think he got out. I don't know if he made it. I don't know if he's alive. A bunch of guys were killed. Um, I'm pretty sure he didn't make it out, but a few of us did. And I'm just trying to get back home to my family. And thank God for Rick Grimes. I mean, couldn't you couldn't you just see the look on Michonne's face if he had said something like that? I was like. This is the moment. This is the moment. What's it going to be? Is it going to be the big Rick Grimes reveal? But it wasn't. Or is it? Could it lead to that? Oh, my God. We just don't know. We got to wait a couple months to see. Uh, so I think a lot of good stuff was set up. And let the teasers and the trailers and stuff begin, hopefully. And we can start uh, discussing and talking about that. But let me know what you thought about it all in the comments below. I'll join you there. And as always, guys... Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more dead stuff.